We usually hear about SpaceX when they conduct a test on their Starship rocket or deliver astronauts to the International Space Station. But there's more to their achievements, and they are engaging in groundbreaking tasks that we barely hear about. Recently, they achieved something that will change the future of their Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets. In this video, we'll discuss this achievement and see why it's so important. Before we delve any deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about SpaceX's latest achievements and more. Some people say SpaceX's success and popularity is because of their smart marketing, but while the marketing certainly helps, it's mostly their groundbreaking ideas and how quickly they've made those ideas a reality that have really put them in the spotlight. One of these ideas is reusable rockets. The idea of launching a rocket into space and then bringing it back to Earth safely seemed like something out of a movie. Many even laughed at Musk when he first suggested it. Yet, SpaceX has made it happen and now they are one of the few companies that have reusable rockets. SpaceX's journey toward rocket reusability began not very long. In September 2011, the company announced its plan to develop a system that could land and reuse the first stages of its Falcon 9 rockets. The first major breakthrough came on December 21, 2015, when SpaceX successfully landed a Falcon 9 first stage on a landing pad at Cape Canaveral. This event marked the first time an orbital rocket stage had been recovered after completing its mission in space. The next milestone was achieved on March 30, 2017. This was the first time SpaceX reused a Falcon 9 first stage for an orbital mission. The stage had previously flown in April 2016 and its successful reflight and landing. This success paved the way for the development of the Falcon Heavy. The Falcon Heavy uses three Falcon 9 engine cores, or boosters. This design allows it to lift much heavier payloads into space compared to the Falcon 9. The first successful launch of Falcon Heavy took place on February 6, 2018, famously sending Musk's Tesla Roadster into space as a test payload. While SpaceX has been successful in reusing the boosters of their rockets, which are the main engine components, they were initially unable to reuse other parts like the payload fairings. These fairings are the shell-like structures that protect the payload during the rocket's ascent through the atmosphere. And they cost about $6 million, which is approximately 10% of the total launch cost. This means each launch still involved these multi-million dollar fairings being used only once. To address this, SpaceX developed a method to recover and reuse these fairings. Their initial attempts to reuse these expensive components was not easy. The fairings must endure extreme conditions during launch, such as high speeds and temperatures, and mechanical stresses. After fulfilling their protective role, the fairings descend back to Earth, where SpaceX planned to catch them mid-air. To achieve this, SpaceX used two specially equipped ships, named Ms. Tree and Ms. Chief. These ships were outfitted with large nets intended to catch the fairings as they descended under parachutes. This method, while innovative, did not achieve high success rates initially. The catch success was less than 20% of the attempts. Recognizing the limitations of mid-air recovery, SpaceX shifted its approach to retrieving the fairings from the ocean. This change in strategy has allowed for more consistent recovery and reuse of the fairings. Musk has reported that they have managed to reuse fairings over 300 times, each set saving about $6 million. The shift to ocean recovery also made the refurbishment process easier. Recovered fairings are brought back and refurbished for future flights. This includes checks for structural integrity, electronic functionality, and other critical components. Achieving 100% reusability for rockets, including the second stages of Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, is a complex problem that SpaceX has not yet solved. While it may seem easy, no space company, not even large organizations like NASA, have fully achieved this. NASA, for example, faced significant technical and financial challenges with the Space Shuttle, which never achieved full reusability of all its parts. The technical challenges include the high stress and wear on rocket components such as turbopumps, thrust chambers, and nozzles. 
These components can suffer from various degradation issues like cracking or even more severe failures that could lead to catastrophic outcomes, such as metal fires in oxygen-rich environments. Instead of focusing solely on making Falcon rockets fully reusable, SpaceX has shifted its resources towards developing the Starship, which is designed to be fully reusable and can handle a wider variety of missions, including interplanetary travel. Starship is much larger than the Falcon rockets, with an aim to lift over 100 metric tons to Earth orbit, significantly more than the capacities of existing rockets like the Falcon Heavy, which can lift about 22.2 metric tons. Interestingly, some experts are predicting that SpaceX might soon retire the Falcon Heavy. Initially, Falcon Heavy was the most powerful operational rocket until the introduction of NASA's Space Launch System. The Falcon Heavy uses three Falcon 9 boosters to increase its power and has successfully completed nine launches. However, despite its impressive capabilities, the launch frequency of Falcon Heavy has been unexpectedly decreasing. This decrease can be partly attributed to its unique position in SpaceX's rocket lineup. The Falcon Heavy isn't as powerful as the upcoming Starship, yet it's larger and more complex than the Falcon 9. This middle ground positioning has made it less suitable for the range of missions that SpaceX is increasingly targeting. While the Falcon 9 is suitable for a wide array of satellite launches, especially involving smaller satellites, the Starship is being developed as a more powerful and fully reusable rocket designed to handle larger payloads and more ambitious missions, such as deep space exploration. So, the Falcon Heavy is not as well suited as the Falcon 9 for smaller payload missions, nor does it match the anticipated power and versatility of the Starship for larger, more complex missions. Additionally, the shift in the market for satellite launches has played a significant role in the reduced activity of the Falcon Heavy. The evolving needs of the satellite industry and the enhanced capabilities of SpaceX's other rockets, particularly the upgraded Falcon 9, have influenced the demand for Falcon Heavy. The improved Falcon 9 has become suitable for missions that might have previously required the Falcon Heavy, leading to a decrease in its use. This shift highlights the dynamic nature of the commercial launch market and the need for adaptable and versatile launch options like the Starship. In other exciting news, Dream Chaser Spaceplane is nearing its launch after years of development. Dream Chaser, which is designed to be reused up to 15 times, is currently undergoing final testing at NASA's Neil Armstrong Test Facility. The space plane is set to perform its demonstration mission to the International Space Station in 2024. This marks a significant step forward in redefining reusable space transportation. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.